Mario. Oh, that sounds so Mario. good. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow crew members, your eyes are not deceiving you. Your ears are not fooling you. You are indeed seeing the one, the only Super Mario 64. Oh, look at his nose. <laughs> I'm simply Kish, and I'm here to take you on this journey. I have no Mad Hatter, I have no Cat, and they're probably gonna be joining me a little bit later on. I was, just, honestly, I was just a little bored, hanging around on a, on a lovely afternoon. Okay, why don't I play some of my, uh, some of my favorite game back when I was a childhood? Super Mario 64 is easily in my top five, if not my top three. In fact, on some days it might even be my top one. Yeah, but only on some days. It depends on if I'm in one of those puzzle moods or if I'm one of those adventure moods. Anyway, regardless, the moment that I've been waiting for, I don't care if you've been waiting for it. You probably didn't even know this was coming, so how could you have been waiting for it? It's the moment I've been waiting for. I've been waiting months, years to play this game again. And I figured if I'm going to play this again, I want you guys to come along with me. So, first things first, am I going to be A, B, C, or D? Oh, this is a tough question. The logical answer is to be Mario A, but I'm gonna go with D, just okay. because. <sighs> Hi there, Princess Peach. Dear Mario, Dear Mario. please come to the castle. Okay. The cake, the cake is alive. Princess Toadstool. Princess Peach. Peach. Princess Peach Toadstool. Back in the day, back. Dude, imagine if we just called her Toadstool. Like. Her name is Princess Peach. We know her as Peach, but what if Toadstool was a name that stuck around? Hi, I'm gonna be... Who's your favorite princess in the game? Oh, I like Zelda, and my second favorite is Toadstool. <laughs> We'd be talking about a totally different game. And by that, I mean it probably wouldn't make a difference, because Toadstool would be the norm, and Peach would be the abnormal name. It'd be like a fruit. Like, why would I want to date a fruity princess? Here it is, the war pipe to start it all. I was probably five when this game came out, and oh boy, back when I was five, these graphics were the bomb. They still kind of are the bomb. Okay, let's see if I remember how to play. On our couch. Oh, that's that. Oh, oh, what did I do? What did I do? I'm totally not playing this on the Wii. <laughs> All right, Lakita, what do you got for me? How do I crouch? That's what I was trying to do. All right, good afternoon, Lakita Bruce here. I'm going to teach you how to play, except I already know how to play. I know how to jump, I know how to do that. But how do I crouch? Is it that? There you go. So I need to, I need to remember that. This Z, L, trigger, bumper button. Got it. Alright, Bowser, tell me the good news. Welcome, no one's home. Now scram? Okay. No one was home. Time to leave. Oh, that was a fun game, guys. Let's do this. Oh, I wonder where to go now. Let's see. Yeah, there's a bunch of different secrets that will become available. As you see, we got water down there. And oh, how do I do the... Uh, there you go. There's supposed to be a hidden Yoshi up there. I visited Yoshi once back in the day. I've only beaten this game fully all 120 stars once. So I've only seen Yoshi once. Um, I'm going to give you a brief lowdown of how this Let's Play is going to work. I'm Not all the stars you get on each world you can get on first go. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go each world, complete what I can, and each world has up to seven stars you can complete five hidden stars one for the red coins and one for collecting a hundred regular coins in the game or in the course so I'm gonna be getting all that I can in the stars I'm gonna be saving all the red coins until a little bit later on and all the secret stars there's 15 secret castle stars that I'm probably gonna wait till the very end to do this I'm pretty sure I could beat this game with visiting each world once and not having to revisit them because you only need how many 70 80 stars to beat bowser one final time so let's see how this goes enough talking let's just get into this first world is the bomb on world as you see you just jump to the paintings that's how it goes big bomb on the side oh, this music sounds so good brings me back way into the day am i gonna beat this in order uh, yeah let's beat this in order because the first star that you can get is actually right here, and that's star number six by beating up this chain chomp. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna try beating this as chronological as I can. Yeah, back in the day, I was kind of scared of that chain chomp. I was scared of a lot of stuff, but it is what it is. I am now an older lad. I'm pretty sure I could handle the the beasts alone. Dang it! That's not how I crouch. There you go. That's what I want. Oh no, dude. Imagine if you were Mario, or Mario, Mario, Ma Mario, 
Imagine if you're a Mario right now. Let's see if I can. Oh my god, I did that again. How do I. There you go, that's what I want. The Mario view. You don't get first person view, which. Since. Uh, you know what? I never really liked first person view. First person shooters aren't my game. I'm all about the third person RPGs. But imagine if you're Mario, you see these big old cannonballs just running straight right at you. It must be pretty freaky. And here's King Bob Omb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am the big bomb. I am the king. Could you beat me up? <laughs> I used to have a fun time beating this guy up because he's so fat. And then it looks funny when he picks you up here. I'll let him pick you up so you can see how funny he looks like when he picks me up. Ooh. He just throws me. Ooh. That did almost nothing. But when I do this, watch when I go around him and I pick him up. Ooh. Do this a couple more times so I can beat him. Some people back oh I'm I'm guilty of this too. Back in the day I used to what do you call it? I used to kind of taunt him and I used to just throw him off the cliff. That doesn't do anything because it'll just make him jump really high right back onto the cliff. And I think I threw him off the entire cliff once because he fell. Let's see if I can do it again. Yeah. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, <laughs> who's king now? Oh my gosh, that is creepy. Like seriously, can you imagine? What? Well, well, you must fight with honor. It's against the royal rules to throw the king out of the ring. Oh, let's do this again. Round number two. And there are times when I think there was one time I actually full on brought him all the way down. I'm not gonna do that. It takes way too much time. I'm just gonna beat him up right now. I wasted enough time doing pretty much everything else. So let's get around to him. Let's get him dizzy a little bit more. Oops, psych. I'm going around this way. I'm going around this way. I'm going up. Oops, psych. Oops, oh, oops, oops, psych. Which way am I going? I'm going behind you. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yep. Sounds about right. That's what I get for taunting you. All right, let's 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 win you for real. I want that freaking star. So let's do you for the third time. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a cool thing about this game is the yellow star, and then I could, if I really want to play King Bomb Bomb again, I just pick him from the select screen, and there you have it, guys, my first star. I'm thinking of singing a lyric of a song every time I get a star, because there are so many songs that have the word star in it, and the first song that came to mind was uh, this one Disney movie way back in the day. Tyra Banks was in it. She was a doll, and then someone whispered her to come true. And she sang the song, shine bright, shine far, don't be shy, be a star. And that's the first uh, that's the first star song that came to mind. I don't think I'm going to sing that one. The second song that came to mind was a song from the hit, uh, it wasn't really a hit, there was only two or three seasons of the show, it's called Smash. It was about a Broadway, about Marilyn Monroe, they're trying to... Yeah, I don't even know what that show was about. I've been watching that scene. But one of the main songs from that TV show or that Broadway show was Let Me Be Your Star. But since that's pretty unknown, I'm not going to uh, sing that either. Look, it's Koopa. Yeah, back when Koopa was a good guy. Well, Koopa's still a good guy. I don't know. You see him a little bit later on. You can use him as an enemy. Actually, back in the older games, you'd stomp on the Koopas as enemies too. This one's called Koopa the Quick. I actually have a friend named Quick. That's kind of funny. And I'm not going to use a teleportation device this time, because I'll just be boring. I'm going to fight with honor. I'm going to win with honor. But that King Bomb Bomb guy would be super proud. Super proud. Actually, I'm going to wait for him. I'm going to wait for Koopa. Where is he? Anyway, Star Song. What are the Star Songs? Are the Star Spangled Banner? The national anthem of our one and only beloved country. But I'm, there's only one part where they say, oh, there he is. There's a long list of Star Cross or Starbucks lovers or Star Cross lovers, depending on how you want to see it. I got that song. There's another one. Stars in your multitudes from the Great Lame is. Dude, I need a star song. Hold on. Good thing about smartphones is that I can still play this game and check star lyrics while I do this. Hmm. Sky full of stars. There's a cool song by Brian Adams and David Bowie. Oh, oh gosh. Cynthia. Um, there's an Ed Sheeran song up oh, in star number two. I better try quickly. Cause you're a sky full of stars. Let me sing. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's good. Okay, that's it. That's gonna be my star song. I'm gonna be singing Coldplay. That is the song of the series. If you have a better song that you want me to use and start singing when I get a star, then go ahead and just let me know. COTD? Sure. Anyway, let's start actually playing this game. Let me know what's going on. 
the red bomb bombs in this course is going against they're like at an all-out war between the the black bomb bombs and these red bombs are actually your friends they open up these cannons each world has a cannon the black bombs are your enemies they're the ones that you defeat i don't think i collected a single coin so far all right so i need to get myself right to that floating island in the sky the one that defies all gravity Let's see if i can do this on my first try and now that i think about it this is probably the worst cannon i could have chosen i'm gonna see if i can get it anyway um that looks good oh my see imagine if you're mario and you're flying that hard that is super creepy you're like if i landed on my belly that hard i would be freaking dead like point blank this game is probably the only game I will acknowledge liking Mario. And even then, I kind of don't like Mario. Um, Super Luigi wasn't out yet. It's like Luigi was a playable character in this game. I think he's only playable in the uh, Nintendo DS versions or whatnot. Or the remakes. I would totally be using him. But Mario is Mario. Back then, I didn't really have anything against Mario. So, Mario it is. How did I start liking Luigi? You know what? I, there's a couple of theories I have in my head as I get my third star and still have not collected a single coin. Oh, with three stars, I can do whatever, blah, 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 blah. Perfect. I remember back when MySpace was a thing, I had a cool little Luigi profile. And I actually had a remix of this song, the Bomb Bomb Battlefield, as my background music. I was like in middle school, I thought I was the coolest person alive. See, there's the enemy Koopa Troopa. We were just friends with him, we had a friendly race, but now he's uh, he's an enemy that I could have stomped on, but I don't feel like it. I also want to say, maybe it happened in Mario Party. Oh, and I'm about to get my first coins right here. There's a red coin right here. In Mario Party 1, I uh, we're all trying to be new characters, or new characters. There's how many characters in Mario Party? There's six or eight that you can choose from. Oops! That's not good. I could probably get hit twice more. Whoops! Yeah, and someone called Mario, someone called Wario, someone called Yoshi, and Luigi was the last character that you could have called. He was the last one to be called as- uh oh, I better get out of here. Or else I'm gonna lose my life! Perfect! And yes! Let's get my star. And once I get the star, my power will be fully replenished. Because that makes all the sense in the world. The power of the stars. So anyway, everyone called characters. I want to be Mario. I want to be Yoshi. And I said, I want to be the tall green guy. I want to be Louie guy. Yep, I didn't even know how to pronounce Luigi back in the day. I wasn't the brightest kid as a... The brightest kid as a child. No, I was not me. Two coins. High score. Four stars. Uh, I have the red coins. And there's one more star left in there. But I need the red wing cap. So that's pretty much it for the world. I'm done with that for now. That's it for Bomb on Battlefield. It'll be a while since until I visit that again. Number two is this one. Yes, let's. Uh, I have time to do one world from here or one star from here. But yeah, that's maybe how I started liking Luigi. That might have been the origins of how I started liking Luigi. But I like Luigi now, and that's all that matters. Screw Mario. In fact, I'm using a Luigi GameCube controller hooked up into my Wii Mote sort of thing as my yeah because when i bought my wii it came with a mario it's not a pro control it's a gamecube control that you plug into your wii and let's uh let's see if i can avoid these coins yeah oops i'm gonna avoid these coins i don't want to collect a single coin ah oh, there i go ruining everything but yeah when i got my wii for the first or when i bought my wii when i just got my wii i it came with the person i got it from i got it on ebay it had a... Oh, man, there I go. Trying to get fancy. It had... It, it sent me a Mario Wiimote. Mario Wiimote? No, it wasn't a Mario Wiimote. It was a Mario GameCube controller that you hook up into your Wiimote. And I was not having... I was joking, saying, huh, I hate Mario. I'm not going to use it. But the joke became a reality. I actually did hate that controller, and I refused to use it until I bought... I bought a Luigi controller to replace it. And I could have sold the Mario controller, get some little cashola for it. Look at those graphics. Get a little bit of cashola for it, but I chose not to. I wanted that Mario controller to just watch as I used its far superior Luigi controller brethren instead. I, I went out of my way to buy it. And 
Uh, uh, we build your houses. We help you out. Bomb's gonna stomp you. Oh no. Yes. You keep pressing the wrong button to ground pound. There's two buttons on my left little trigger the L button and the ZL button, or whatever. But yeah. I've actually not. This Super Mario was, is the only little 3D platform Mario tr travel RPG game I've play, I haven't played. What's this, Sunshine? I haven't played Galaxy, and I say that because apparently this world, I think, is a world in Galaxy. I haven't played either of those. This is the only game I've played, so by default, this is my favorite. I really need to get my hands wet with Sunshine and get my head in space with Galaxy. But for now, I think that's good enough for this episode. QOTD, what's your favorite star song or song that talks about stars? Oh, I haven't been singing it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to finish up this world and do a few more. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series. I know I am. Uh, actually, I can care less if you guys enjoy this. I know I am. Actually, I do care if you guys enjoy this because I know I am. You know what? You guys are going to enjoy this because you know I am. Signing off.